Hi, Steph Layton here with another quick hands-on learning tip. And today I'm going to talk about math and using real money. It makes such a difference than looking at the black and white coins in a book. Granted, a dime looks smaller than a nickel, but to a tactile child, they can feel that there's an actual difference and they get that. So when we did math, we kind of used weird words and we were saying things like four quarters goes into a dollar and they makes a dollar. And that just is very hard for a tactile child to imagine because it wasn't really making anything. It was just stagnant on the page. But when we had our dollar and we could actually put four quarters on the dollar, he could see, he could build to what that dollar would be. Or we could do it with the dimes, 10 dimes. And then of course you can let them count a hundred pennies and put those hundred pennies on top of that dollar to make a dollar. Um, with my youngest son, rather than play with real money, we actually had a learning resources uh, cash register and he loved it. He would also play with a calculator for fun. Um, he's ahead in math only because we let him play with these real things rather than just fill in a workbook and look at kind of black and white coins, which isn't fun at all. So you're working fine motor skills, you're working math skills, you're out of the book. Now definitely use the equations in the book while you're working outside of the book and put the answers into your workbook. That is smart and that's easier for you. So there you have it. Real money math. Enjoy.